New tonight, the decades-old mural in the Delta County Airport could soon have a new look. Now, the airport manager says he hopes to give the mural a more contemporary feel while still incorporating local history. And TV6's Escanaba Bureau reporter Barbara Bellinger spoke to the airport manager about the idea and to a woman who spurred the project in the first place. Delta County Airport Manager Robert Randstadler says refreshing the airport's mural would mesh with his plans for the airport as a whole. We're trying to send the airport in a new, more modernized direction. We're updating a lot of facilities and the appearance of the airport. Randstadler says the mural was painted by local artist James Finland about 20 years ago. The Mead Paper Building is just one of the outdated scenes. There's a computer, computer that's featured in the mural that is a, like a pre-2000 computer. Randstadler says his first attempt at updating the mural fizzed out. Randstadler says he couldn't get the project to take off in March, but after hearing from a local businesswoman a few weeks ago, he's opening the doors and getting it ready to take off again. A lot of her, uh, her family and relatives were pioneers in aviation. Uh, including several women, which is very groundbreaking for the time in itself. Kylie Kelishak proposed to Rand Sadler that the mural include historic aviators from the area. Her own great-grandpa and three great-aunts were wing walkers in the 1920s, one of whom joined the Flying Circus when she was just 15 years old. She's the first woman to ever change planes from one to another without a ladder. She holds a bunch of records from the 1920s, like fastest plane change. She used to hang from the planes by her teeth. Keller Shack hopes their history will be included in a new mural. The UP in general has such a rich aviation history, and all of this has been been forgotten. Monday, Kellishak will present her idea to the airport advisory board. Barbara Bellinger, TV6 News, Escanaba.